That evening, Nkobo told his dad about the lion kill. Of course, his dad's first questions were, how did the lion get in the bone? Did anyone get a good look at the lion? Then Nkobo described to him how the lion dragged its back leg, both going into the boma before the kill and when it came out. It had run off on three legs only. <laughs> oh, Gumbi. Uh -huh. A wounded lion. It would return to the boma again. He could no longer hunt wild prey. This was a problem animal. Father would need help to deal with it. So he called upon the reserve's office. Kobo loves his weekend. He's allowed to go with his dad around the park. But he is worried about his friend this morning. What if the lion came back in the night? His dad had had a wonderful idea. Let's drive over and see Nasaja. If nothing happened, then we'll take her for a drive into the park. Perhaps all her hate and fear for animals could be rectified a little. Upon arrival, Nasaja told Mkobo she was sorry for hurting him. And she told Mkobo and his father that she was not afraid anymore. Her father would get home later and he would hunt down that lion. Of course, this was not allowed. Only authorized rangers could shoot problem animals. Not even Mkobo's dad was permitted. Kobo had brought something for Nasaja's mother. Nasaja takes this straight to her mother and asks permission to go with Mkobo and his father that afternoon. Mum tells Nasaja to enjoy herself. It was wonderful to see little Nasaja relax. She began to really enjoy looking at all the animals. Of course, she had an expert on wildlife to explain how they all coexisted together. She also thought that all wild animals are actually very beautiful, and it was important to protect them too. They saw so many animals that afternoon. You see, everything in nature, from the elephant right down to the grasses, has a function in nature like a chain. If one thing is eliminated from this food chain, then the chain will be broken and everything goes wrong. Elephants are just doing their job when they pull down trees. It lets grass grow, which in turn gives food to the grass eaters. But if we had too many buck, then all the grass would go and there'd be nothing left for myself or the cattle. Now this is where the lions and the hyenas come in. It's their job to keep the game numbers down. Not myself, of course. They only take the weak animals. It's the survival of the fittest, you see.
when they all got back to Nasaja Shamba, cheerful and happy, her father had returned and looked suspiciously like he was preparing for the hunt. Nasaja was delighted to have her dad home, but really wanted her mother to meet Mkobo now. Mkobo was a little shocked to see how ill her mother was, but he kept up his good manners, as is the way of Africa. When told he could not hunt the lion, Nasaja's dad grew very angry. There was no compensation for his dead cow, and they both knew the lion would be back. On top of that, he had to leave the next day to get medicine for his wife and look after his cattle up in the hills. Mkobo's dad asked him to wait for a ranger to hunt the lion. He really wanted to help. What, and lose another cow? Nasaja's father shouted. Mkobo was relieved to be in the landy and driving away. Now, there were things that the grown-ups had said in their anger that really haunted little Mkobo. The Saja's father really seemed to hate the beautiful lion. And his father had said cattle and man had lived for centuries together in Africa. The problem was also that the herdsmen should look after their cattle better. What had changed? Why were man and the wild animals at war here? Was there not enough land for all of them? There would be no school for Nasaja again. Her mother was a lot worse. They'd been up all night chasing the wounded lion away now that they were not allowed to hunt it anymore. Otherwise, her father would get arrested. They needed to wait for the reserve's ranger because if people just kept on hunting lions themselves, lions might just become extinct. But her father would have to go back to look after his cattle, then get medicine for her mother. And what about the other old cattle left with Nasaja in the boma that evening? Before her father got back, they would be eaten by the lion. Oh dear, life was so complicated. Nasaja! And Kobo arrived, but he could see she was not ready for school again. He knew that it could be days before a ranger could come and hunt the lion. He felt sorry for Nasaja. Her father would leave again today and she'd be all alone that night. He decided he would not go to school today either. His parents would be very upset, but he needed to help his friend. But how? 